Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video that is actually inspired by the Hermit's Cave here on YouTube. He is a, another tarot YouTuber that I like to watch a lot. And he uploaded a video the other day about how one card in the other kin's tarot resonated with him so much that he purchased the deck just based off of seeing that one card alone. And it was the Hermit card. Um, in that deck and it got me thinking that I have that one card for several decks that I own and it's usually either a deck that I love and one card just weirds me out a little bit <laughs> or it was one card that I saw and that one card made me fall in love with the deck. So I have five decks in front of me and I just want to go through the decks and what my one card for each of those are. So the first deck that I have in front of me is the Muse Tarot and I did do a full walkthrough of this just last week or something like that. It's really really new to my collection and I love, 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 love this deck so much. Everything, basically everything about it. And there is one card that weirds me out and it is the Ten of Materials or the Ten of Pentacles. Something about the black and white people holding hands around the tree. Every time I see this card, it makes me think of like the moments before a cult, before a cult like drinks the Kool-Aid and commits mass suicide. <laughs> I know it's so messed up, but for whatever reason, that is what this image conjures up in my mind personally, and therefore, it weirds me out. Um, everything else about the deck is amazing though, and I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up one of those decks if you resonate with the artwork whatsoever because it is beautiful. Um, the next deck I want to talk about is the Way Home Tarot. And I also did a walkthrough on this, this deck recently. And there was actually one card that I saw on Instagram that sold me on this deck. I knew I had to have it. And it is the Devil card. And usually I don't like the Devil card in most decks just because, you know, it's the Devil card. You're probably not supposed to like it. But this interpretation is so stunning to me. It is for sure my favorite devil card in any deck ever that I've ever seen. And you can see in the picture it's horses working, I guess if you want to say that, at a carnival. They're chained up and they're probably at one of those like ride the horse and the carousel things where you like go round and round and you ride the pony. And what stands out to me about this card is that the background is all the bright neon lights that you would typically see at a carnival, and carnivals are, are supposed to be fun. But these horses are clearly not having a good time, and the way that I interpret this card is that any vice that you have, any addiction or bad habit, that we pick up like usually starts as just having a good time or like just wanting to have a good time, right? And then it snowballs into something that you can't get out of or can't get away from, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. So to me, this message really, really resonates and I just really like how she chose to depict the message of the devil card. And I mean, look at the look in the horse's eyes. It's just such a well done card. And yeah, this is for sure one of my current favorite decks too. So speaking of the devil card, now on to a devil card that I really, really dislike. And that is from the Tarot of Pagan Cats. It's one of my favorite decks for sure because I am a cat lady in training. And um, the devil card in this in this deck really, really just turns me off because the entire deck is so sweet and cute. Hope you can see those. 
Anyways, the entire deck is super sweet and cute. And then they had to go and give the cats bunny ears in the double card and it just really, really disturbs me. I hate even looking at this card. It, you know, whenever it comes up when I'm using this deck, I kind of go, <gasps> which maybe is what they were going for, but man, I do not, do not like this card at all. And what is that in the cat's mouth? Is it like a ball gag? I don't know, I don't know what it is. Oh, but those bunny ears, they just really, really get me. Now, on another note, Murphy, Murphy, Murphy. Murph! Hi, buddy. Okay, on another note, my cat Murph, here's Murphy, and the Knight of Swords. Take a look at this. Okay, here's this handsome boy. Ah, I love you. Thank you for coming. Every time I see this card, the Knight of Swords, I just see my cat Murphy who is my biological cat. I birthed him from my womb. And he is the love of my life. <laughs> so, bonus card there for ya. Okay, I have two more decks that I wanna talk about. And the next one is the Fountain Tarot. Um, I actually had never seen any of the cards inside before purchasing this deck just the box, the packaging drew me to it, and I picked it up. And it is a really, really beautiful deck. It's just got a really soft color palette, and they're really, really beautiful, and I do enjoy reading with these from time to time. However, the Strength card, again, <laughs> is one that really weirds me out. Like, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a woman with a lion in the strength card, but whenever I see this, it kind of looks like, like, kind of looks like a white lady dominating a Native American man. And I just feel like that just, it just hits a little too close to home as far as, you know, the history of the United States. So it just, yeah, I, I cannot get over this card. I I don't know. This my dislike for this card probably is what prevents me from picking up this deck because it does read really well, but I just I just can't get over this card. But it is a very beautiful deck. Very beautiful. Love the artwork. Really well done aside from that one card. And then the last deck that I have to talk about is the Moon Void Tarot. And this is one of my favorite indie decks. And I actually keep this one on my nightstand. It's an illustrated deck that's mostly black and white with little pops of red. It's just really, really cute overall. I just, I really vibe with the style of this deck. Sorry, some of my cards are play down. But the world card, <laughs> probably going back to the fact that I am a cat lady at heart. I love this card. It just gives me the warm fuzzies. You know, to me this picture is exactly how I feel at the end of a long day where I've just wrapped up like a big project or something and I'm feeling quite content with myself and then my cats come and snuggle me and I'm curled up with a good book and it's just the best feeling. So yeah, I love this card. I really, really love this deck. If you like these images that you've seen, I highly recommend this deck. I really, really love it. So anyways, that is it for my 
one cards, I guess, in these tarot decks. Definitely let me know if you have any particular decks where there's one card that you really love or, or one card that kind of weirds you out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.